What's up, Brad people? Today we are gonna see if we're gonna press some buttons. Fun. So let's get to it. You get an unreal heavenly singing voice. That'd be dope. But you are prevented from talking. The only thing you can do is sing. Well, I talk way too much. But that would be a very, very cool gimmick for Let's Plays. Or it could be super annoying. Uh, I would say, well, not. I talk way too much. And I feel like if I was singing all the time, no one would want to talk to me. You can live forever in the 90s, but there's no internet. Well, then it's not the 90s. Because the, the internet was very much around in the 90s. Okay. So, no. Why would I want to live in the 90s? I don't get it. Yeah, there's some aspects of it that, that, that would be great. Um, but does that mean even as I get older, there's no technological advancements. So there's no medical breakthroughs. I mean, you gotta think about things like that. Like look how far we've come in just, you know, 10 years, 20 years, like a lot has changed. You get $1 every minute of your life for the rest of your life. That sounds great. I could really use that. But you lose your sense of humor. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's tricky. Humor gives you so much joy in life. So I can't imagine what my quality of life would be. That being said, I got so much darn, how, wait, let me calculate. How much money is that? So you get 1440 a day. So times that by 365, $525,000, $526,000, somewhere around there. Would that be worth losing your sense of humor? I would say no. I would rather be laughing and having a great time and you know, they keep being, not having that much money. You became Superman, but everyone else gets a block of kryptonite. Then no, I don't understand where's the appeal of that. Sure, be a super human uh, hero and um, use that as good, but anybody can, you know, instantly take away your ability to be a superhero. Nah, uh, that kind of makes you not very superhero we then, right? You can listen to any song ever created in your mind just by thinking about it. That'd be dope. But you become deaf to anything in a 50 yard radius. Then no. I don't understand. Why would you choose that? I These questions, they're we. I don't get it. Like, I don't see the appeal. Yeah, cool. You don't have to listen to the radio or have, you know, earbuds or headphones or you know, uh, speakers. I don't, why did I name everything that you can listen to music on? I don't know. But why would that matter if you can't he hear anything? How would you hear new music? I guess you'd have to go to concerts and that would cost a lot of money. Nah, I'd rather just listen to the radio. You get to be best friends with your favorite celebrity for your whole life, but you don't have Wi-Fi for the rest of your life. I do not care about any celebrity enough to want to be their friends enough to give up Wi-Fi. I don't even, why would you, I, I mean, it'd be really cool to be friends with like Markiplier, but I mean, it's not worth giving up Wi-Fi. You can go anywhere in the universe during any time period, but it's a one-way trip and you must go alone. Hell no. I, I like, I have loved ones. Okay. I, do you, uh, are you guys lonely? What's up? Do you not, are, are you, are you, are you missing somebody in your life? I don't know, this question makes me sad. So no. You will get famous and everybody likes you, but you will never find love. I would rather find love a hundred times over than be famous. Love is more important, but guys, you know, having money, hell yeah, that's dope. I would love to have some someday. But I mean, what's, what's it all matter if you can't spend that money to do things or spend it on to make your loved ones happy? Like, I don't, I just don't get it. To me, then it loses all value. I don't want to spend it on myself. I don't, like, why? That, that'd get boring. That'd get lonely. That'd be sad. You live forever, but every moment is less beautiful because you know it can never be your last. I don't want to live forever because <laughs> I don't want to be the only person to live forever. You know, someone eventually is going to find out and then do a bunch of, make you like a, you know, like a guinea pig and like do a bunch of research on you. And that sounds awful. And then you'd never die. So you'd be stuck there forever. You can stop time, but you can't unfreeze it anymore. Then where's the, okay. Where's the benefit? I don't get it. You can stop time, but so, so basically you're just stuck there forever alone in solitary confinement, basically. No, awful, horrible, oh my gosh, no. You get to spend a whole week with your favorite celebrity and they like you at 
at least as a friend, but you had to listen to Pitbull's whole discogra uh, discography. Disco discography. Why am I not saying that right? Discography. Discography. Discography? But sure, why not? I'll listen to a. Uh, but, uh, you know, all his songs. I I mean, I don't get the hate for Pitbull. I can understand. We all have those, you know, things that we just don't like. But I don't get, like, the whole bandwagon hate against Nickelback and Pitbull. I, they're just doing their own thing, you know what I'm saying? They're appealing to a market. They're making some people happy. I actually saw Pitbull live once for my senior grad bash of high school. And he put on one hell of a show. I enjoyed it. You have the ability to teleport wherever you desire, whenever you desire. Wow, you'd save so much money. But every time to teleport, you and everyone you care about has their lifespans shortened by one week. Oh, ooh, ah. Ah, oh, that's hard, because once if you're already given a short life anyways. But you could make the, f you could make the most out of that life. Think, if it was quick, that's, a so, that's so much time you'd get back. Like, think about it. Say you wanted to go to like 10 different countries, right? So that's 10 weeks off your life. 10 weeks off your life, but how much money would that save? So how many less days would you have to work to save up? How much time is spent at the airport and renting cars and traveling to get to those destinations alone and then to get home? Oh, wait, you'd have to teleport. So it'd be 20 weeks then, you'd teleport there and then teleport back. So I would actually go for it. I, w I think that's great. And then you wouldn't even have to worry about dying in like a plane crash, which is a terrifying fear of mine. So uh, hell yeah, I'm taking it. I will, I would, I would give that up because I think you'd get a lot in return. Okay, so this is gonna be the last one. Be able to eat any amount of food without gaining weight. That'd be wonderful. But you cannot taste any food at all. Then what's the point? What's the point? Who created this? Do you not understand? what the appeal of eating any amount of food would be without gaining weight. I mean, you could eat five chocolate cakes and have no negative responses to it. That'd be wonderful. But if you can't taste it, why would you even bother eating the five chocolate cakes? Did I say 10? I don't know. That's stupid. I'm mad that this question exists. No. So I will not. Would you? Let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and then I'll know you want to see me play more of these question games. Uh, but seriously, let me know down in the comments for that last question. What would you do? Because I don't get it. Why would you want to eat a copious amounts of food if you couldn't taste it? What would be the point? Just eat healthy at that point. That's the biggest, right? That's the biggest turnoff from eating healthy is that people say it doesn't taste as good. Of course it doesn't. A salad does not taste as good as Taco Bell. But if you can't taste Taco Bell, just eat the fucking salad. <laughs> <sighs> Until next time, keep it the radness, and I'll see you real soon. If you remember to turn on my channel notifications down below. Bye!